Hey gang, Scott here. If you're a Lightroom user, you have probably already learned this, that Adobe added curves to their masking tools. So they did a bunch of stuff with masking over the last year plus, and now they've added the curves tool as a thing that you can mask, you know? So uh, you know, why is that a, a big deal? Well, I'll show you uh, an example in this video, as well as a, uh, a way to build up uh, some interesting presets that you can use. Uh, I've made one for like a finishing touch that leverages curves in masks. Uh, if you're not sure what curves are all about, you know, what is a curve, you know, why do I care? I've got a different set of videos about curves. There's two different kinds of curves in Lightroom in the, in the basics, uh, in the global area, I should say. There's the classic curve, there's the parametric curve. Check those videos out so you can understand what curves are. In the masking area, we have uh, the, the, I'll call it the classic curve, the point curve that you can control using control points. And you can see here with this mask I've created where I have a mask applied to the foreground minus uh, the, uh, the rock there. And I have a curves adjustment. So this curves adjustment is adjusting tonality, but limited to the area that I have masked and before that change after. So you can see the uh, the results there. Let me rebuild that and just recreate it so you can see how, uh, how you can use curves with your masks. Create a mask. I'll do a quick linear gradient and just drag that above here because what I'm looking to do is add a little contrast and uh, improvement in the whitewash here. And then we have the curves area, you know, this new panel right here in the masking area. We'll choose this little tone picker and I'm just going to click, click once. That's my highlight. And then like a, a grayish area that I want to maintain, like click there. Now I have two control points. And if I press the shift key and I can adjust these, I can, the shift key means I just move up and down. So I don't shift their tonality per se, or shift the shift left to right. I just increase or decrease their brightness, their luminance. And so something like that, so you can see before and after. I'm getting that little additional pop there, but I don't want it on the rock. Well, curve is just any other adjustment in a mask. You can manipulate the masks just like you've been doing all along. I've got tons of different videos about the uh, masking in Lightroom. Let me open this up here. I can subtract an object. I'll do that. I'll just draw a box over that rock. It will remove the mask there. And you can see that's how I created that mask. And now before and after we have a very gentle contrast S curve on a selected area of the photo. And that's the power of curves. Uh, curves give you very, very tight control over different tonal regions. It's uh, similar to how luminosity ranges give you that type of control. But uh, curves, sometimes it's just easier and quicker to reach in there and say, I just need a little contrast pop here. But you know, the contrast slider or uh, clarity is too strong. Texture is not really what I'm after. I'm looking for a contrast adjustment that I have more control over what's low, what's high, and the transition between them. You use a curve, apply it with a mask to just the areas that you want. Now I want to show you another little recipe here that you can use with curves. And uh, I've bundled this into uh, an easy preset for me. So let me apply this preset. I'll show you what it's doing and then unpack it for you. All right, let's collapse that mask down there. And let me open up my presets bar. I have one here called overlay pop. Now, as soon as I hover over that, notice the change in the photo before, after. I'll click on it and you'll see two more masks got added to this uh, masking panel. Let's collapse our presets down. There we go. And what are we doing here? So I'll turn those off again, turn them back on. And you can see it's just this little extra contrast pop. I'm kind of simulating what you can do with, say, the overlay blending mode in Photoshop or in other layering programs to uh, just give that little extra contrast. But I'm leveraging curves with masks to do that. So unpacking this, let's take a look at overlay pop number one. I have a luminance range mask that's hitting the highlights and tapering off to about the you know, middle gray. And then the curve is saying within that range, I'm going to take 
you know, the upper midtones and push them a little bit higher. So I'm raising brightness with the upper half of the curve and really tapering it with this luminance range. So it's kind of a, a very, a very subtle touch, uh, but it is an effective one. And then the reverse with overlay pop two, it's the bottom part of the luminance range, the shadows and the deep blacks, and then lowering it. And so it's, um, it's just nuanced contrast and done in a way that it looks really nice. And it's a nice finishing touch to a lot of different photos and it's leveraging curves in masks. If you're interested in this preset, I'll put a copy of it on my website in the blog post that accompanies every video that I do on YouTube here. So I'll put a link to the show notes uh, so you can get that preset if you want it. And that's gonna do it for, uh, for this particular video. Uh, I hope you found it helpful found it useful, and you find ways to leverage curves in your Lightroom masks. Any questions, drop them below. And until next time, my name is Scott Davenport. Have fun.